You only want to back up, big bald guy. All right, here we go, you guys. Oh, God. Careful, I need, I need the table to get really close to each other. Okay, here we go. All right, three, yeah. two, one. Oh, you all right? Oh, oh shit. shit. No, no, no. So right now I'm in the... I'm in the hospital right now. And I was doing a stupid skateboarding trick. Where I was like filming at and I hit my head really, really hard. It's like I feel confused. My right side of my face feels numb. I have a big bump right here. And I'm just like waiting for the results right now. I'm just scared and hopefully nothing bad. I had to go to the hospital. here I'm always always here supposedly though like we took a, a cat scan and it said if it was serious as of now they would have rushed me already into the like main room if my head was cracked but what I'm feeling right now I'm feeling confused my head hurts I feel sleepy I'm scared to sleep um also, I, I had it, I have it filmed, like my worst skateboarding injury, not even outside, but inside, trying to make a video, and I can show you guys. But I do feel really, really weird though right now. Like at first, I literally thought that I was like having like a seizure or like a stroke because my right side of my neck hurts so much. And I'll show you guys the clip right now. What happened, it was really, really bad. You want to, you want to back up, big bald guy? All right, here we go, you guys. Oh, God. Careful, I need, I need the table to get really close to each other. Okay, here we go. All right, three, two, one. You all right? Oh, shit, no, no, no. And now I'm just waiting. Like everything on my right side feels numb, just feels hot. And I just feel like super, super weird right now. And I was just waiting for like the main doctor to come, which just, just hurts. And I'll let you guys know right now what's gonna happen. Hopefully, nothing bad. Hopefully, just concussion. I mean, I've never had a concussion. Maybe I have, because when I was younger, I hit my head really hard, but I was like young and stupid, and I just didn't care. I went, went back to sleep and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna wait for right now and uh, see what happens. I'll let you guys know. Everybody, my whole team was like outside waiting. They like rushed me to the emergency room because I'm scared, you know, you could have internal bleeding. You could become, you know, I don't know what to, what kind of word can you use, but like your brain doesn't work no more. Your your brain is everything, and I never felt that before. I'm just super scared right now. It's just I just feel really really horrible right now. And like the whole time I've been sleepy the whole day today too, and I was like ready to finish this video. So. I'm like sleepy and I, have, I know for sure I have a concussion, but we'll find out right now. I'll let you guys know. Good things. Actually, I got your CT scans. Everything looks good, okay? Yeah, I'm just freaking out, man. Yeah, yeah. Have a seat, tell me what happened. Yeah. It's stupid. I do like YouTube. And I was like, trying to make them like the video so i i i've been skating for like 15 years and i did a trick off the off a table uh -huh. but there's a there's an exercising machine that i've always feared about like damn man someone hits their head like it's like a metal piece just like right here oh uh, yeah and i i try to be dramatic and fling my, after i landed i fling myself and i i just 
hit my head really hard on the side. Okay. And I've never, I've, I've hit my head before, you know, but I've yeah, never sure. felt that before. And I was like, and then Bob Saget died from, sure, and it sure. freaked me out. I'm like, dude, yeah. how about I crack my head or I'm internal bleeding or something like that, you know? Yeah, 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 sure, sure. And like right now it just feels numb, so it just freaked me out, you know? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah so there's no signs, of, in, no signs of internal bleeding at all. Um, the CT scan's really good at detecting that. So that, that's why we get the CT scan, make oh. sure there's no bleeding. Okay. Also check for fracture, there's no signs of fracture either. Okay. So, um, yeah, in terms of numbness, I suspect, um, did you lose consciousness afterward or no? Do you know? It was like, maybe like 10 seconds where it just like, okay. and I'm like, oh, and I got back up, I'm like, oh crap, like I never yeah. felt that, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, it could be a mild concussion, that's a possibility. Concussion just means, um, that you, your brain is kind of bruised a little bit. There's not really no no imaging shows. There's no there's no way to diagnose a concussion on imaging. There's not any like actual uh, visual findings that show up on a scan. It's more based on symptoms. So if you kind of have a persistent headache over the next couple of days, or a persistent kind of nausea, okay, um, or even like a you know like a kind of fuzziness or tingling sensation, that could be a sign of a mild concussion. Yeah, I mean it's not like numb to the touch, but it just feels like when I smile, like but I hit right here, so. And then my neck just feels sore because it was like, and I went yeah. to the side. It was like the, it was like literally the side of the metal piece, and my head went, and it went that way, and I was like, oh. Gosh. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. So I suspect. I mean, you probably strain some of the muscles, and all the muscles are kind of connected, right? And maybe you stretch a little with some of the nerves there. Yeah. So that's probably why you got that sensation. Yeah. And I have it filmed too. <laughs> it's really bad. I looked at it, it was like, oh, I'm going to the hospital. No, I can't. It was really bad. I mean, like I said, I've hit my head before, but I've never like that before. Yeah, I never yeah. felt that before. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's probably too soon to look. You should have waited a couple of days. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. So. Yeah. What can I go do? to can I go sleep? Yeah, yeah, you can go to sleep. Yeah, because there's no work, no concern. The whole sleeping thing is about like the reason why people worry about going to sleep is essentially like kind of the Bob Saget case, right? Like yeah. If you, if you have bleeding but you don't know it, and you go to sleep, well then it's just going to keep getting worse, and you're not you're going to be sleeping, so you're not going to realize it, and then you end up just dying in your sleep. But but no, there's no signs of bleeding, so yes, you can go to sleep, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, so it's the fine. machine just sees everything, if it's bleeding, pregnant, okay, yeah, so yeah, 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 just yeah. a bad just hit. Yeah, yeah, okay. exactly, yeah. So I, you mean, I would take ibuprofen or Tylenol for it. But for what? For oh. if you're having any of like, that symptoms, that, like oh, some okay. aches or... I just don't like taking like any kind uh, of medication. You don't have to, you don't yeah. have to, but if you're, if, you're, if, you're, if you're feeling comfortable, you can try oh. it. Should I put ice? Uh, yeah, that would help. Yeah. Okay, cool. It'll oh. help, especially if you're starting to develop a little bit of swelling there. I, I, I feel a lot better. Like, it's, it's, it's all in your head and, and yeah. WebMD. <laughs> oh my, dude, WebMD would just tell you, you're going to die in three <laughs> seconds. You know, but, <laughs> I know. but I mean, I, I just rushed and just told my friend to drive me here as quick as possible. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, things look good. Yeah, okay, yeah. perfect. So, yeah, give me a few minutes. I'll get your stuff ready and you'll be good to go. Okay. okay? Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. Should I follow you up? Uh, yeah, you can just hang out here. The nurse will bring you your bring Well, what did we learn today? If there's a big metal piece, I mean a giant metal piece of um, uh, exercise equipment, don't do no skateboarding tricks off a table because most likely you're gonna bang your head really, really hard and you're gonna freak out and go to the emergency room. And yeah, I'm just so freaking glad that I don't have no crazy head injury, like a crack to my skull. I don't have internal bleeding, just have a concussion. It does hurt. I have a freaking headache on my head right now. But um, I don't know if I'm going to go back and film because I need to film. But it's just so inconvenient. Like, why do I hit my head so hard? Like, I knew I hit my head really hard, but I didn't know it was going to be that hard. That's what it freaked me out. I was like, dude, like, I hit my head hard. I'm going to the emergency room, man. But... I'm lucky nothing happened, you know, thank God, and, um, yeah, I appreciate you guys, um, uh, leaving your concerns and comments, you know, watching the video, I mean, trust me, I had anxiety too, but I'm okay now, and I appreciate you guys, and I love everyone, and I'm, I'm just glad that I'm okay, and it makes you appreciate, like, life more and more and more, like, the little things in life, you know what I mean, because one little thing like that, boom, your life is over, and just, you know, just bad results or i don't know man I'm, I'm super glad that nothing bad happened i'm okay so what have we learned don't skate inside the house that's what your mom and dad always tell you don't skate inside the house because you get hurt easily and wear a helmet I'm, I'm probably gonna start wearing a helmet man getting too old for this can't be smacking my head like that dude
if you're still watching, I just came back to the office to go look at the table. Now, the thing is that it's not the table's fault. And it's not skateboarding's fault. It is that machine's fault. Literally, from that machine to the table, it's so far away. I mean, damn, dude. That was so far away. Now, when I came back to the um, office, I went to go look at the camera. And I got so lucky. Like, I'm a, I want to slow motion. I, I think I slow motion down for you guys already. But I got so lucky because it could have been worse. It's this part. If I would have hit my head on the corner, that is why I went to the hospital. Because I thought I hit my head on this corner right here. But if you look at it, I hit my head right here. And what made it worse was this logo. I feel like this was like really like, mm, like really like scraped my head and gave me that like bump that I have that scared me. If this wasn't here and it was just flat, I think that would have like, maybe not would have hurt so much, but it would have hurt, but you know, it's pl plastic. So technically I hit my head on the plastic part, but this part is what really got me. But I literally thought I hit my head on this corner right here or even right here. I thought it was like, and I went this way and I was like, dude, I'm going to the hospital. Like, there's no way I have my head's cracked. But if you look at it slow motion, I hit my head right here only. Like, that's that's crazy. And then from here, all of, I don't even know how I made it all the way over here. But pretty much like I, I was like being dramatic so I could like look like I fell really, really hard. But scary, man. But like I said, it's on the table's fault. It's not my fault. It's not the skateboard's fault. It's that damn machine's fault. So am I scared of skateboarding? No. Like, you know, it's great too because when you do like those kind of like tricks and like it's like something traumatizing, you like get traumatized and never want to do skateboarding or whatever activity you were doing ever again. But skateboarding, is, it didn't traumatize me. It wasn't the skateboard's fault, you know? It was that machine's fault. And luckily I did not hit my head on that corner because if so, that I, would, I think for sure something bad would have happened. Like that would have been a for sure, like, like crack to my head, but yeah, I want to come back and we're gonna keep filming. So it's gonna be funny. So once again, if you guys not subscribed to the main channel, Arcade Craniacs, go subscribe and yeah, you go watch that video. Cause I'm gonna like show that I hit my head and go in the hospital and then come back and be like, all right, well, we're back. <laughs> it's gonna be funny, you know? That's what's cool about the channel is always like some funny random stuff. Anyways, we're gonna start filming right now, but if you're watching, I appreciate you and um, be careful, don't skate in the home. Like I said, your mom is right. Your dad is right. Don't skate at home. It's it's bad. Don't skate inside the house. You know how your mom and dad say that. So be careful. And um, what's his name again? Dang. Uh, no, it's, uh, Forget his name. Uh, Charlie. Charlie. From me and uh, Charlie. Goodbye.